Hey guys, my name is Shattered. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, welcome. If you're returning, glad to see you again. For today's video, I'm going to be going over the top eight best streetwear hoodies I own in my collection. And uh, at the end of the video, I will, I will be ranking them by quality, fit, and price just to help you guys out for the winter months, just so y'all can look stylish. Starting off the video, we have the uh, narcotic hoodie. And these hoodies are in no in particular order, by the way. So we're starting off with the narcotic hoodie. The hoodie fits like a gildan and feels like a gildan hoodie, as it probably most likely is. The fit is nice. The quality, however, is like standard. And I would rank this hoodie around six out, six out of 10 because the exterior is basic. The interior is basic. And this feels like a hoodie you can pick up from Walmart. Next up is the hood. The hood is okay. It could be a little bit bigger in my opinion because I do like an oversized hood. But that's it for the, nar the narcotic hoodie. And this hoodie cost me about 60 bucks. Next up is the anti-social social club hoodie. This hoodie is a very oversized hoodie. As you can see, it doesn't fit as uh, tapered like the narcotic one does. However, this one is very relaxed, a very relaxed fit, which is all okay in my opinion, because the, the fit all depends on the individual. Now, the quality is where we have a huge issue because the quality on this hoodie is very, very, very bad. It's very a low standard. The exterior is rough and it's not, it's qual there's no quality at all. The interior is really bad. There's no quality at all either. And the hood, the hood could, could, need, could, be, could be better. It needs work, a lot of work. And this hoodie is this hoodie's around like sixty to 50, no sixty to seventy dollars. So overall, you're not getting what you paid for. And I'm ranking this hoodie four out of ten. Next up is the ASOS Velour Fitted Hoodie, and this hoodie is the only hoodie I wear in a small because it's fitted. I should have went with a medium, but I didn't. And this hoodie, this hoodie fits, you know, it's a decent fit. If you're into that athletic uh, style like I am, I was in track in high school, so I got this my senior year, and it fits really nice in my opinion. However, the, the materials are, are different. It's very different. Nothing I've ever uh, felt before. It's a velour material, and the interior is a is a like woven stitch. It's really nice, very soft, very comfortable. But the only issue with this hoodie is that the hood is horrible. The hood sucks. This is probably the worst hood I've ever had on a hoodie. And this was $50. However, I picked this up for $20. And if I could rank this hoodie, I would rank this around 7 out of 10. Next up is the Super Radical hoodie. And the hoodie fits way too long. I don't like the way it fits. This is a medium. I should, probably should have went with a small. However, I didn't. But uh, I do like this hoodie. I like the relaxed fit, but I don't like the length of it. So if they can shorten the length a bit, I would appreciate it. Other than that, the hood is the hoodie itself is okay. However, the materials are very weird. The exterior is really rough. It's, however, it is soft compared to the anti-social social club hoodie. However, the interior itself is the nicest thing about it. It's but it's very thin. But this hoodie should keep you warm in the winter months. Another, the only issue I have besides the length is the hood is nice. However, there's a lot of flaring and it makes me look like a Dilophosaurus. But all jokes aside, you guys, uh, the hoodie I would rank this is a 7.5 out of 10 due to the fact that it costs $75 to make poor material and bad length. Next off is the Champion Reverse Weave Hoodie. I love this hoodie. This is a streetwear classic by now. And the hoodie will cost you around $60 to $65, which is almost a standard price for a hoodie. I love the fit. It's not too long, not too short. I love the tapering around the midsection and the forearms and the wrists. I love the bagginess on the chest and the shoulders. Absolutely love it. The only thing that hurts this hoodie is the material. The exterior is pretty rough, even though it's made to be rough because it's a winter hoodie. It's, to keep, it's supposed to keep you warm. The interior sucks. It's very poorly made. It's worse than anti-social social club and anything Gildan can ever make. Champion needs to step their game up on that. However, what really saves this hoodie is the hood. The hood is nice, deep, oversized. Absolutely love it. Champion has a has a unique formula for their hoods, and I absolutely love it. And I, if I could rank this hoodie, I would rank this hoodie an 
It's an it's between an eight to an eight point five out of ten, only because the material really screws it. Next up is by Siegs. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but I love this hoodie. Although I do have a few complaints, it could be a tad smaller on the bottom, but that's just my opinion. But this is a great hoodie to throw on during the winter months. It's very nice. I love the oversized casual fit. Very comfy. Something you can throw on some sweatpants and just lounge around in the house. And I love that. And now the material is just phenomenal. This might be one of the best hoodies I've ever touched. The exterior feels like butter. It's super soft, super high quality. And the interior is like touching a cloud it's like little marshmallows that you're wearing all around your body it's phenomenal absolutely love this however this hoodie will cost you around 75 dollars which is a bit pricey and the hood could be a, a tad bit bigger in my opinion other than that i would definitely rank this hoodie an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 only because the hoodie could the hood itself could be better and the hoodie is high quality and then the pricing itself $75 is pretty pricey but that's just my opinion let me know what you think and let's get on to the next hoodie now this hoodie might be the most expensive hoodie I've ever purchased this hoodie cost me $175 and it doesn't have a pouch so this hoodie is definitely different this hoodie is by abstract by jewels and I'm going to say the, the fit is nice, I'll admit. It could be, I know I've been saying these hoodies are too long, but I think this one could be a tad bit longer in my opinion. It does kind of uh, wrinkle up at the bottom, which is fine. The, the tapering is nice, the fit's nice, the quality is phenomenal. This, this quality is really, really damn good. I highly recommend you picking this up if you have the money. The exterior is extremely soft, the interior is extremely soft. It's like, it's like honestly, it's like touching a bear, if that makes any sense. It's, it's that soft. I don't, I don't have no idea of how, a, how a bear feels, so bear with me on that one. No pun intended. However, the hood sucks. The hood is very, very tiny. It's not oversized. It's not flowy. The hood, the hood needs work gone, man. If I could rank this hoodie, I'd definitely do a 6.5 to a 7 out of 10, only because there's no pouch. The hood sucks, and the, the pricing, the pricing is way too much money. But now let's go on. Now for the final hoodie of this video, we do have the Save Our Sanity apparel hoodie, and I'm going to give this hoodie a 9.5 out of 10 because of how phenomenal this hoodie is. The hood itself is pretty decent. It's not too short, it's not too long. However, I would prefer this hoodie to this hood to be slightly longer, slightly deeper. The fit is nice. You have both elements of oversized and tapered, which I like. However, the only problem I have which hurts this hoodie is the length. I wish it was just slightly longer, but other than that, I do love this hoodie. This hoodie will cost you around 50 bucks, and the material is A1. This material is better than the by Siegs and by Abstract by Jules. The exterior is just phenomenal. The interior is phenomenal. This is like touching a cloud. It's so great. Now, guys, before we end this video, it's time to get into some honorable mentions. Uh, the honorable mention list guys are hoodies that did not make the list because there's no name branding i don't know where you can pick these hoodies up at all either but my grandma picked this one up for me i love this hoodie however the the length is bad the fit is nice the hood is nice the quality is phenomenal as well but i just don't know what brand this is from and i don't know how much this hoodie costs her the next hoodie is this uh tie-dye hoodie the hood on this sucks <laughs> however i do like the fit i love the colors the length is nice too but once again i don't know uh what the brand is and i don't know how much this hoodie costs because i did not buy this hoodie this was a gift from my mom so i don't really know uh where this hoodie comes from but if you guys know please let me know down below and the quality on this is really crappy this is probably worse than the anti-social and gildan so if you guys just like this because of the color i would recommend picking it up for the color but not for the material wise because this hoodie this hoodie sucks but i love it because of the color the final hoodie and the honorable mentions list i picked this one up from ross this hoodie cost me 12 bucks the hood is not good the fit is okay materials are mm, are all right however i do love the printing on this i love the japanese style artwork i love the uh sakura uh, i think that's how you pronounce it flowers and i love the japanese print on the back love the font as well and so thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one